And it's bigger. We rented out the whole entire space. We've got three different stages. You know, we got a poetry room, we've got an alternative room, and we got a hip hop room. And what's cool is my wife kind of named them all. Uh, the names of different songs, like uh, the XYZ room is one of my songs, uh, the Inertia room, uh, you know, Inertia. And then uh, Wordsmithing. How many my Wordsmith? And that's where all the MCs, all the rappers, all the Wordsmiths that I consider that are Wordsmiths are huddled up, hubbed up in that um, section and just kind of rocking out. Uh, we have a lot of really dope performers in that room. CJ, Solis, The Ghost J, Mystery E, Savior the Savior, Jersey all day, you know. The, I, I got to perform basically in the XYZ room, a little alternative, just because I was implementing guitar, drums. It's not something that the scene isn't get to used to seeing. I'm still working on that aspect. You know, after I finish my tape in its entirety, I'm gonna go full instruments. That's my future. But the River Renaissance is basically a, a an event where we used to fundraise uh, money for my wife's uh, venture, which is trying to open up an animal shelter or cat cafe. And that um, that helps kind of bring people and try to get these lovely cats adopted. I'm, I'm a pretty cat person. I, she got me into it. I'm more of a dog guy, but I love cats too. I like their, uh, their sassiness. But uh, what's great about a cat cafe is that they're in their natural habitat, so it makes it easier for them to be charismatic and charming. And it's like, oh, I like this cat. Can I take it? Of course you can. Whereas in a shelter, they're in these cages. They're angst, they're scared, they're just not their regular selves, so you're never gonna get uh, the best out of them, so to speak. So, the Urban Renaissance helps fund raise money towards that. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So Sierra and I, we moved all over. We lived in San Diego for two years, Colorado, and we've done six major festivals. Uh, we did a Deja Vu in Mexico, Electric Forest in Michigan, uh, Wakarusa in Arkansas, Hulawin in Florida. You know, we go to these festivals and we just look around. It's like, I'd love to bring this to my community. How can I do that with my music? Though it's mostly EDM and jam bands, you know, I'm trying to fuse this alternative sound of my hip, to, hip hop to be on that circuit, to show diversity within this community. So, what I'm trying to do is make this into our very own festival with our own sound, our own style, our own representation. Let them know that we're here because I love Jersey all day. Though I'm out there, I'm traveling, I'm seeing everything, I always come back home because this is where I'm at. You know, I'm originally from New York City, born and raised, but forget all that. I'm Jersey all day, all day. So I have Face Cadet and I am New Jersey sidekick. I'm here to big up everyone, bring it all together because the talent is so amazing. Awesome. And I just want to be showcasing that and letting everybody know that they're amazing. Dope. Got your back. Dope. 